Today we are saying goodbye to the summer containers and hello to the fall containers. Stay with me as I show you a foolproof way to create a gorgeous container that will give you lots of interest for the season. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today I am going to share with you a very simple recipe to create a gorgeous container. Now we have said goodbye to the fall plant. I always keep saying that. We're already in fall. We're saying goodbye to the summer and hello to fall. You would think of me as a southerner I'd be ready to say goodbye to summer but for whatever reason my brain's all jumbled up. We're saying goodbye to summer and hello to fall. Now, there is a very simple um, recipe that goes when you're creating a container and it goes across the industry. This is nothing new. This is nothing that Jenny has created, but it's a very simple little thing that helps you remember. So maybe you are a first time gardener and you want to create a beautiful arrangement, but you just don't know where to start. Well, this is a fantastic way. You need to remember thriller, filler, spiller. If you have those three components in your container, you are assured that you are going to have a gorgeous, interesting container. So what do I mean by a thriller, filler, spiller? I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you. So I have some plants here that we're going to create this container with. My first one that you really kind of want to start with is your thriller. Your thriller in this case is going to be Proven Winners Desert Plains Grass. This is a fantastic perennial grass that um, is going to bring lots of height and interest. It's going to move with the breeze. It's going to be really, really pretty. Now, we love this because this time of year, it puts on those precious little um, plumes. This is the flower for the grass. So, where are you going to put your thriller? There's a couple of ways. It depends on how you're going to see your container. For us, obviously, it is by this tree. This is simply, this is really, I get kind of creative with my container. Sometimes Jerry just looks at me like I'm crazy, but he's learned to go with it after all these years. We took an old patio chair and I took the bottom out of it. It was just some sort of like a basket weave and it was done and it was looking ratty. So I just cut it out. So the bottom is empty and we have just this little insert that I measured to see how wide the chair was and then I went and found a little container. Popped it down in here. It's not attached but it just fits nice and snug in there. There are holes in the bottom so when you are picking out your container you need to make sure that it has a drainage hole. So the tree is going to be here so you're really only going to see this from the front and the two sides. So I'm going to stick my thriller in the very back of the container. Now, maybe you're gonna see your container all the way around. In that case, you could easily put your thriller in the center. Um, so it's just gonna kinda depend on your location and um, how you're gonna see it. So, try to keep this in the center here. And of course, this is a, since the container's not this little guy is not attached. I can always move it around. So, got him in. Desert Plains is in. Make sure that you are going to make all your roots are nice and covered. Now, I did already fill this up with brand new potting soil for this year. Um, those old summer annuals had just gotten ratty. They were pretty root bound. The soil was yucky. I always like to start with fresh soil. Why do I start with fresh soil? Well, one, it could be that there's so many roots in there and they're just binding up the nutrients. And so these new plants can't get it. Two, you could have bugs in there. You could have um, leftover snails or slugs, especially here in the South. That's a big problem that we're having at the end of the summer when it's hot and humid. You could have other insects that had already laid their eggs in here. We want to get rid of that. Any kind of, you know, disease or spider mites, any kind of insects, pests we want to get rid of, start with clean soil. So that's why I always say start with brand new soil. Now, what we're going to do over here is this is where we're going to bring in some of that great color. These are some gorgeous 
pansies that I have. Look at that sweet, beautiful color. This is called Lavender Melody. For the South, pansies are a great fall, winter annual because they are a cool weather annual. So they work great for us. They're one of the few flowering annuals that will go throughout the winter. So I've got three of them in here and I'm just gonna pop them over here on the side and kind of get them nice up here on the edge moving my soil around getting rid of the pine needles moving everything around just kind of filling in this little area right here they will they will grow they will get wider and they will spread um, so eventually even through in the spring they'll start to fill in and spill over some but mostly they're just going to fill in this whole corner right here so this is my second component, I got so excited about the pansies, I forgot to tell you what I was doing. This is the, um, so we got the thriller. This is a filler. Filler is that great component that fills in your spaces. So we're getting these guys in here. And actually, I'm going to use two different kinds of fillers. So I've got the pansies on one side. That is my filler. And you could put another group of pansies over here. That would be perfectly fine. But I decided to switch it up a little bit. And today, we're going to use Proven Winners Black Pearl Euchre. This is going to be another perennial. Has great foliage on it super pretty it can do sun or shade so it's extremely versatile it is a semi evergreen so even in the winter you're still going to have your foliage it's not going to go completely away so we're going to put it on the opposite side of these pansies right here and this is one that we had grown from a um, plug we got them late summer grown them out so it doesn't have a massive root system, but it is certainly growing and quite happy. We're going to get her tucked in here. Black pearls are wonderful because, like I said, they can do sun or shade. It'll get nice and full. And you can just kind of come in here and just tweak it a little bit. It was going a little bit too much into the desert plains. Shake the dirt off of it. So they have a really pretty deep, dark top and then on the underside is the beautiful purple so the purple to the purple see what I did there yep and then we're gonna come in here so we've got our thriller we've got our fillers and we're gonna come in next with our spiller now a spiller does exactly what you think it does it spills over the edge of the pot so today we're gonna use creeping Jenny creeping Jenny is lots of fun because it brings in that great bright lime green color again it will be a perennial for us we are north carolina zone 7b so everything in, in this container is a perennial except for our pansies creeping jenny is a wonderful you can use it as a ground cover because it will fill in it just spreads doesn't get tall but it does trail or spread depending on how you use it i just thought this would be a lot of fun to use because it has that bright color to it and it's a pretty vigorous grower so it's going to trail right over. So we're going to nestle all that in right here. Get these guys in. So I have a little extra soil over here. So make sure that whenever you're making your containers that the root systems are nice and tucked in. You don't want any um, areas of the root system to be exposed especially for the winter because you want to protect it from any kind of cold so we're going to get these in here there we go and then if you will remember from previous videos that i have talked to you about when we do containers i always top dress my containers with a layer of mulch so the layer of mulch gloves it's a little late for that now isn't it tell you all right so mulch does a couple of things one in the summertime it really helps to retain the water so of course in the summer we're fighting the heat and the evaporation of the water so you don't have to water quite as often the winter for us that is not an issue because typically in north carolina we have very wet winters not really 
snowy winters, unfortunately, but just really lots of rain. Like we can get tons of rain in the winter. So that's not so much of an issue, but one, it makes it look really pretty. So it dresses up the container immediately and makes it look really nice. But the main thing about putting the mulch in in the winter is that it helps to insulate the roots and helps to regulate the temperature. So we can avoid any kind of temperature extremes, whether it's too cold, because one day in North Carolina, it can be 50 degrees, and then the next day it can be in the 20s, and vice versa. You just never know what's gonna happen. We always say, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes, it'll change. So here we go. Plus, honestly, I just like the way it looks. And you'll be amazed at how much your plants really respond to putting that nice little layer of mulch. Just makes it really, really pretty. So, there we have a very simple recipe, a very simple container that has your thriller, your filler, and your spiller in it. You can use this method whether it's for a fall winter planting or a spring summer planting, it does not matter. Very simple, gives you interest. Everything's gonna fill in and be nice and full and it will go all the way from fall, winter into early spring. Another little tip that I have for you is to take your tags. I know a lot of people, I'll ask them, you know, they'll say, well, I had this plant, I don't remember what it is. Save your tags. Take your tags and simply put them on the side of your pot. Now, if I'm doing this pot for me, Personally, at, the, at our house, I will stick the tags back somewhere where I can't see them. So if I need to them, get to them, I can just go back there and pull them out and look at them. Here at the nursery, people want to know what the grass is or what is the euchre. So I'll make it a little bit more obvious here so that our customers can see exactly what we have. But I'll just tuck that right here on the side. And there you go. Now, all we have left to do is get them watered in, and there you have a fantastic container. With these containers in the wintertime, watering, you want your soil moist, not soaking wet, and not bone dry. If you're getting consistent rain, then you're probably not going to have to water it at all. And once we get past um, into some more consistent rain, I'm not going to have to water this. Makes it very easy. I hope you have found this video helpful and informative, giving you a little bit of ideas of how to create a simple yet very effective and attractive container for your home. Please make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to Gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day and we will see you in the next video. Bye friends.